Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the product page widget from Boken. So what we're going to do is start by looking at the widget uh, as it is embedded on this client site of ours. And then we'll go into the Boken backend and I'll show you how you can generate this widget and customize it and get the code that you'll need to put the widget on your website. So to get started, I'm going to click on book now. And this is actually a booking button widget from Boken. So that's a separate widget. Um, we highly encourage you to check out the video that we have on that. Um, this leads me to our product list widget, which is another widget from Boken. But if I click into one of the tours from the product list, we can see the product page. So as you can see, we've got all of the photos from the tour. We've got a short description, the tour reviews, uh, what's included, any additional information. This can all be customized at the product level. Uh, so please see our help desk for how to build your product if you have any questions about that. And then essentially it also includes the calendar where I can select um, how many travelers are gonna go on the tour, what date and time I want to take the tour. And then I can click checkout to proceed to the checkout page. Now I'll make a note that you do not need to use the booking button and the product list uh, in um, coordination with the product page widget. You can use the product page just on its own. And many of our clients find that that's very useful if they don't already have a website with separate product pages, but they'd like to have separate pages that give a good description of the tour and help the customer know what they're signing up for. So. We certainly encourage you to use the product page widget in a way that you think is best for your website. So now that we've taken a look at this, let's go into Boken and I'll show you how to set up this widget. So starting from our sales feed here, we're going to click on online sales tools, which is what we want to do anytime we're trying to generate a widget code. And now we are at the widget dashboard here. So we are going to look at the different widgets available on the left and select product page in the bottom left. I'll click create widget. What you'll notice is that we have a live preview here uh, on the right, and you can preview what the widget will look like on a desktop, on a mobile device, or on a tablet. So that's really nice. And as you make changes, uh, that will update in the preview. So the settings are fairly simple. What we want to do is select the supplier, which is the company. So in this case, we're using our test account adventure tours and then the specific experience that we're creating a product page for. Uh, once again, I'll note if you're using the book now button and the product list, then those will lead into the product page widget and you can set those up when you're creating the settings for those widgets. For now, let's just pretend that we want the product page to sit all on its own on your website. So if I was happy with how this looked right now, all I need to do is click generate embed code. And this brings me an HTML code that we copy and paste into the back end of our site. We have a help desk that has articles on how to do this for WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and a number of other platforms. They're step-by-step -step articles with screenshots, so they're very helpful in terms of getting the widget code directly on your site and making sure the widget is working correctly. But uh, essentially, all I would need to do is click Copy and Embed Code here, and then go into the back end of my website and paste it into an HTML box on the page that I want the widget to appear on. So now that we've generated the code, let's look at some of the customization options we have for the product page. To do that, I'm gonna click on Edit Widget Configuration here in the top right. And now this brings me to the product page customization uh, menu here. So once again, we still have the live preview. And now you can see there's a whole bunch of options that we've got for the product page. Uh, so we'll just briefly touch on them. Uh, the banner is going to be an image that appears on the top of the product page. So uh, you can see that update again in the preview while I toggle these. Uh, show the duration is asking if you wanna show how long the tour is gonna last. Show the difficulty. Uh, once again, there's a difficulty rating that you can assign to your tours. Um, and these are all options that you set in the product end of the um, platform 
but then you can choose to display on the widget. Uh, whether I want to show photos or not, in this case, we only have one photo for this product, so um, we'll just leave that on. Do I want to show the description, what's included and what's excluded, uh, show the uh, attention for the tour, uh, what to bring, if I want to show my cancellation policy, uh, the type of the tour, uh, the cutoff, uh, which is how far in advance the tour can be booked, um, the accessibility for the tour, anything that I should know before I go, uh, the categories that the tour falls under, um, some of the attributes of the tour, and whether we have guides. So certainly I'd encourage you to visit our help desk to see um, more about all of these options in terms of building a product. But here's how you're able to customize that. And if we want to get this widget up on our site with our customization, just remember to click save and continue. Then you would click back to embedding widgets. Go to your product page, select the same tour, click the code as we did before and copy and paste it into the back end of your site. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, once again, please see our help desk for further resources and thank you so much for choosing Boken.